Okay, here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. Today, we're going to fix a mistake that I made in burning the flight controller's firmware. I accidentally told you to use the version of the firmware that has BD shot enabled, and that was a mistake. We do not want BD shot enabled. What is it and why don't we want it enabled? What BD shot is, is bi-directional D shot communication between the flight controller and the motor speed controllers called ESCs. Our ESCs are 8-bit. They are not able to do bidirectional communication with the flight controller. It's unidirectional communication. So we don't want that feature enabled. And the reason and it, it actually causes problems with the DMA and the timers and uh, the internals of the microcontroller. So we need to get the firmware that doesn't have D shot and flash that. This is also a good exercise of how to change the firmware, which is that once you've already got the bootloader on there, which we did last time, and it's much easier. So this will be a very short video. So we want to get the correct version or a different version if you're doing it in a different way. So if we go to Copter, pick whichever version you want, and we want Maytech. And what I, the problem is, the mistake I made last time is to ask you to flash Maytech 405 TEBD shot. That was a mistake. We don't want that because we don't have 32-bit ESC. So we're just going to get the one that's Maytech 405 TE. Now, we already have the bootloader, so we don't need to put the bootloader on again, which means we don't need the STM burning machine. We can just do this, or program, we can do it directly through Mission Planner. All we need is this program called Ardupop Copter. Dot apj so it doesn't have the bootloader and that's all we need so if i go to so we just download it and we can look in our downloads folder let's see how do i do that downloads and let's look in our downloads folder okay so we'll delete that one this one called one is the one i just wanted uh, rename Oh, we'll just call it one. Okay, so that's the one we want to flash. So we open Mission Planner. And this one, we're just going to connect the USB cable to the flight controller. We don't need the battery for this. So I'm connecting the USB cable to the flight controller. Windows goes beeps. We give it a moment. Now, we do not want to connect with Mission Planner. We go to setup, install firmware, but we don't connect because we're installing firmware. And you go, you can upgrade it to the latest version from here, um, but we're going to do it manually. Load custom firmware, arducopter1.apj open, and it will burn that firmware to load the, change to stabilize the controller. No need to upload already on the board because I did this before. Uh, to make sure it worked, but in general, it will download that and then you're good to go. We can check that we got the right version. config error. Next. Arrow unable to initialize driver mode change to stable oh, speech. And under messages here, it tells us the boot messages. And this is the version of firmware we have Maytech. I'm disconnected, so we stop scrolling. It's Matech 405 TE. It doesn't have D-Shot appended to the end. That's the version of the firmware we're using, and we're done.